You know who's a Thomas character everybody loves, but no one really talks about ever? Harold the Helicopter. And I guess that's not such a weird thing. He's the helicopter in a show about talking trains. He's kind of playing the second fiddle automatically. But that doesn't mean he's not an interesting character or didn't ever do anything interesting. This guy has quite the biography and story behind him. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we finally do him some proper justice. So without further ado, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of Harold. That stuck-up whirly bird thing. Now, before we get into this overall story, let's establish what Harold exactly is. Now, Harold is based on the Westland Whirlwind helicopter, which primarily were used by Royal Navy's Fleet Air Arm, mostly in anti-submarine searches and rescue roles, the latter of which being an inspiration for Harold and also kind of explaining why he likes the sea so much. He's painted in a white livery with a red stripe down his side. And we also, thanks to the unlucky tug, can surmise that Harold is owned by the Coast Guard. As Dryaw has a heliport which is owned by such. And given that Harold kind of lived there for a little bit on top of this context, I mean, it, it makes sense, you know. But this has never directly been said in the show or anything like that. It's more just mentioned in the TOS book, as you can see here. Now, the first time we see Harold is pretty notable as well, this being in the episode Percy and Harold, as his first interaction with Percy sees him calling the railway slow and out of date, thus starting a bit of a rivalry between the two. Well, Percy ends up beating him in a race the two have, and following this, Harold also comes to help Percy's crew when they end up flooded in on a trip, dropping off some hot cocoa. When Thomas's brakes failed while boarding at a station, it was Harold who chased him down with an inspector to see the issue resolved. He even becomes good friends with Duck after rescuing an injured sailor, both sharing a love for the sea and what's on and beyond it. But like I mentioned before, Harold wasn't loved by all, namely Percy, who even after beating him in a race was still overall kind of iffy seemingly. There was definitely still a rivalry there. And this rivalry peaked when rumors started about that Percy would lose his mail train, the cars would be scrapped and his services altogether no longer needed. Instead, it would be Harold making those deliveries, something Percy understandably took to heart. Now, this causes Percy and Thomas to work overtime with these mail deliveries and really gave it their all. And in the end, they not only proved their worth, but pretty much saved the day when high winds completely grounded Harold for safety. Harold even had an interaction with Rusty when he was sent to help the little engines and overall was quite polite, even telling them to keep up the good work after their interaction. And once again, we swing back around to that male story as Harold is posed to take it once again. Though this time not permanently, Percy is stopped by a broken signal and can't really continue. So Harold with a net comes to save the day, teasing Percy, of course, but just so happens to overload the net and crashes right in front of Percy. And following this, Percy runs to check on and get help for Harold, as he was stuck in a haystack following the accident. And once rescued, Harold would thank Percy, and the two finally put that rivalry to the side. Percy wouldn't be teased by Harold anymore, and Percy respected Harold from this point forward, or a lot more than he did. Now, this sort of ties up the classic model series. Now we move on to Misty Island Rescue, where Harold not only comes back, but is completely moved from Dryaw to a hangar at the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. He was heavily involved in the search for Thomas. He saved Birdie from the Shake Shake Bridge. I, personally, I would have left him. I don't know how he got there, but that, that's kind of on you, buddy. And helped Charlie recapture an elephant that escaped from Sodor Animal Park. The search and rescue team and Harold would help out with a massive storm that hit the island, and later found Diesel and Percy trapped in a flood at the old quarry, of course helping the two after getting the rescue team and saving the day. He also helped the Duke and Duchess get to Callan Castle after Spencer, Bertie, and Thomas failed. But the rivalry between him and Percy reignited briefly in series 20, this being in Letters to Santa, as Percy was struggling in the snow while delivering mail for Santa. And seeing this, Harold offers a helping hand? Rudder? You know, I don't really know. And following this, Percy refuses the help and storms away, but accidentally leaves a sack of letters to dry off behind. Now, seeing this, Harold decides to take them for Percy, but Percy sees him following behind and thinks this is him challenging him. And thus, a race starts until Percy crashes into a snowdrift, leaving him to actually need help from Harold. Once again, Harold offers to help Percy, and this time, Percy actually agrees. And Harold would do so successfully, making it to Hero, but running out of fuel and being stranded on the mainland. 
Percy hears about this and is having none of it, however, so he rushes to the mainland with Fuel, not wanting Harold to spend Christmas alone, and the two return triumphant friends again. And you know what? That, ladies and gentlemen, is a beautiful story. That is how you kill a rivalry. And that aside, there are some smaller or other notable appearances Harold has. It's kind of arguable if this is canon or not, but Harold does show up in Thomas and the Magic Railroad for a very brief scene, as he accidentally blows sneezing powders all over the yard. God, I love this scene, and the voice. I love the voice they gave Harold for this movie. There was also a time he was pulled on a flatbed by Duck and Thomas, but uh, he doesn't really play a huge role in that one. Yeah, I believe it's more between Thomas and Duck until they get him stuck and break his rudders on a tunnel. Nice. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the long and short of Harold. He's a kind, a bit cocky, but can you blame him? I mean, he has to be. All anyone ever cares about is the engines. But overall, helpful lad who's always willing to be there when he's needed. And hopefully you guys learned just a bit of something new about the character in this episode. Now, it is worth noting he does come back in All Engines Go, but that's not something I've really seen. You know, I couldn't really tell you what his role is or what episode that's even in, so comment down below if anyone has that information or, you know, can help fill in those blanks. And also let me know if you guys would like more and who I should talk about next. Now, really quick, as always, huge shout out to my patrons for making videos and projects like this possible. If you want to join these beautiful people on screen and see videos like this early, be sure to check the link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. It always helps with the YouTube engagement. And ladies and gentlemen, I guess with all that being said, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for getting help to pull me out of that haystack, my friend, he said. That's all right, said Percy. That's what friends are for. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.